I can only quote what, I, what I've heard other people say because I'm not a historian, but apparently after World War I, Germany was so degraded and, and was, life was made so difficult for the Germans that it was rife for someone like Hitler to step in and, um, and, give, and give the Germans uh, hope and, and encouragement, uh, or what passed for that anyway. My name is Anita Sklar. I live in Westchester, New York, and I was born in Berlin, Germany in 1933. My mother and I were in, in Switzerland in 1938 when Kristallnacht happened on November 10th. Jewish businesses were attacked and um, synagogues were burnt down. Jewish men were dragged out of their homes and beaten. Some of them were shipped to concentration camps. The day after Kristallnacht, my grandfather and my father telephoned us in Switzerland and said to my mother, don't, don't come back. Do not come back. Stay right where you are. So there we were without anything. My mother's friend was, was running a, a home for Jewish children at the time, and that's where we ended up. We landed there. Also, that's, that's where shipment groups of, of other children were sent to uh, after Kristallnacht. We had a couple of different buildings. One was the, uh, the main building, which had several um, rooms with, uh, we had maybe f five or six beds in each room, and uh, a large um, dining room, and we had a, a kitchen, which the children weren't allowed in. I think that mostly we were about 80, 80 children, and uh, boys and girls. That's me right there in the middle in a white sweater. That was 1941 and I was eight years old. We were not conscious of the word Holocaust at the time. It, it didn't exist. It, the only thing we knew was that there were concentration camps and that, that Jews uh, were being transported to concentration camps. And we knew a lot of the names of the concentration camps and we knew that there were awful things going on. We, we kept hoping that our parents or our father or our mother would not end up in one of those. There was a, a concentration camp called Theresienstadt, and that was supposed to be the best of the lot. Uh, and, and so we would hope that maybe our, our family could end up in Theresienstadt if they had to end up in a concentration camp. My father managed to survive in Berlin until 1943 by hiding here or there, doing forced labor, I'm not sure, but in 1943 he was picked up and taken to Auschwitz, where he died about a month or so later. The, the worst part of it all, for me, was when, in, when the end of the, at the end of the war, in 1945, everybody started to go in different directions. Lost all my friends. Uh, I was suddenly yanked away from everything I knew and uh, came to this country, and it was a very, very hard time for me. Very bad. I think it could happen again. Anti-Semitism has never gone away. The, the, the Jews have always been made guinea pigs and have always been picked on, and. Uh, you, it's going on right now under our noses, and it, it could get much worse. It could definitely happen again. I think there would be more awareness of potential, but I, I think that it's not, it's not ever going to disappear.